Hello, I'm Liam, and we are playing Four Against Darkness. We are here in the Moldering Barrow in Room 12. And, uh, reasonably sure, we're coming up to the final boss here very soon, who has the Veracin Lion Skin that the, the Vigna Marcias have sent us to fetch. Also, should be Throck's Masterwork Hammer, which was stolen by a flying skull way back in uh, room four when we met them as wandering monsters so let's see uh, we'll head north here and see what we find 61 61 a big long big long room uh, we're gonna keep the door on the corner here I think so keep some space there it's the room that's three things wide. In fact, I'm going to bring it up just a notch here. Bring it over like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, five, six. Um, and it's got doors on both ends. our middle door basically and we've got another door I'm gonna put that up here and another door put the top in the corner lucky room 13 okay <laughs> here we are uh, oh I found my eraser <laughs> okay um, let's see what is in room 13? Five. Where's our flow chart? Empty, empty. Roll D6 special feature table. Okay. I think, I think this is our first abyss special feature. Oh no. <laughs> that was the room of horrors. Uh, okay. I hope it's not another room of horrors. Two. La. Wow, Lava River. Okay, Lava River. A random magic item is protected by a Lava River crossing the room and flowing from east to west. If a character wants to leap over the river, he must roll versus a level 6 difficulty. Add plus 1 if the character is halfling or elf. Subtract 1 if the character... It says subtract minus one, which if you subtract minus one, technically is a plus. <laughs> subtract one if the character is a dwarf or wears heavy armor. So if we do this, we're going to go with Blesk. On a success, the character leaps on the other side and may take a random item from the Abyss Magic Treasure Table. Once the character takes the object, roll again to jump back. Falling, fa failing the roll means the character takes 1d6 wounds. Ouch. Okay, well first off, I think Bless is going to eat a loaf of elven bread. <laughs> so that brings us down to, uh, she's got one wound. Uh, and we're down to one loaf of elven bread. Okay, do we want to do this? Uh, lava river flow. I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to say is that this river is flowing like this and our magic item is up up there so let's do it why not but but uh, versus a level six difficulty six does and a save has to me so six seven or eight otherwise I mean, she, she could take 12 points of damage, which would kill her. <laughs> uh, 2d6, this is... Oof. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? You know what? We can come back here. I, I think we'll leave it. And um, if after we meet the tentacle brain, if we're still in good shape, maybe we'll give it a shot. Otherwise... Um, I think that's the smart play here. Lava River. And I'm going to put a box here. To remind me that we didn't do it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Should we go north? 
or east. Let's go. Let's go east and see how how this connects, if at all. So, where we have 52. Is this just a little room? 52. How do we make that work? It's a door. We'll put a door in the north, so this will come out for sure. Let's connect these with a three like this. Like this. 52. Down. I'll just connect it like that. And one of these sides has a door, one does not, and there's a door up here. We might move this door up a notch just to make the map work. Let's do that. Okay, and this is room 14. All right, what do we have in 14? 10. Weird monster. Okay. If win, roll d6 for leveling up. This is the abyss? Well, D6 for leveling up. That should be D8. Plus D6 treasure table. Okay, weird monster. Here we go. This is our first abyss weird monster. And weird monsters count as a boss. So this is our second boss. Now, it's a weird monster, so it's not a boss boss. So this is not going to be our our final boss, um, because our final boss we know is going to be a tentacle brain. We decided. <laughs> um, but what do we get here? We're going to roll a d6. Four. We have a werewolf. Werewolf. Nice. Fourteen. Werewolf. Level 8, 8 life points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Level 8. 2 attacks. Uh, silver weapons. Strike wears at plus 1. That's us. Everybody's got silver. Throck's got a silver two handed hammer. Elric has a silver hammer. Blesk has a silver sword. She currently has her dagger equipped, so she'll have to take a turn to switch. And uh, Jim has a silver two-handed sword. Any character wounded by a werewolf must save versus level 5 curse or be infected. Roll once per wounded character at the end of the encounter. See Lycanthropy, page 39. Okay. All right. Um, let's see what happens here. We're in 14. Throck gets to go first. Uh, we have to remember we get uh, plus one attack. It's five, six. Plus six is 12. So that wounds the werewolf. Elric, one misses. Uh, Blesk, four. Plus one is, uh, for her attack, is five, for with silver weapons. No, wait, I'm sorry. Blesk needs to take a turn to switch from her dagger to her, uh, to, uh, uh, yeah, to her sword. That's right. And Jim has his bow equipped, so he needs to do the same thing. He needs to take a turn to switch to his two-handed hammer. Okay. Um... We've run into remarkably few corridors, and the corridors are the whole reason <laughs> that I have ranged weapons equipped. So that's not working out for me. Um, it makes me wonder if I should change my strategy later. I think we'll just keep melee equipped all the time and switch to ranged if we need to, because uh, there are far more cases where we need melee equipped. So going forward, that's what I'm going to do. But we can't do anything about that right now. So, it is the werewolf's chance to attack, and uh, it has two attacks, so it's going to attack two random people. It will attack uh, Blesk and Blesk. 
All right. Something against Blesk, I guess. Uh, what do we... Let's see. Blesk's defense is plus one. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but there's two. Um, that's not enough. She takes a wound. S her second attack, six, seven. She also, she gets wounded twice. Blesk. Takes two wounds. I'm glad I didn't try to jump the lava river. <laughs> uh, now, what does this say? Um, any character wounded by a werewolf must save versus a level 5 curse or be infected. Roll once per wounded character at the end of the encounter. Okay, so I have to remember to roll for Blesk. Uh, Blesk. Okay. Our turn. Jim. It explodes. Eight uh, plus six. This is not his masterwork hammer. Otherwise, that would have exploded. That's 14. Plus one is 15. Plus six is 21. He does two wounds to this werewolf. Elric. Two plus... That's no, not enough. <laughs> uh, Blesk, six. Plus 7 is 13. Plus 1 is 14. So she does 1 point of damage. And Jim, rolling with advantage, 5. Plus 1 silver is 6. Plus 6 is 12. So he does 1. And now the werewolf is level 7. He goes down a level. And he does a... Re reactions always fight. That's... Morale roll, he flees. Fled. Okay, and now Blesk needs to save versus a level 5 curse. And she does not make it. Blesk is cursed. So we'll, we're going to look that up on page 39 in a minute, but let's do treasure plus 1 first. Treasure... Eight, nine, one random item from Magical Defense Table or gold. Um, I guess we'll, we'll we're going to roll one. That's uh, Magical Defense Table. Magical Defense Table. Roll a d6. Three, Brownie Ward. If the wearer of this talisman encounters brownies, the brownies must immediately make a morale roll. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's, I'm probably going to give that to Blesk. Because um, it seems like a thing an elf might have. Or an elf might eschew, I'm not sure. Um, we know we won't give it to Throck, but brownie ward. Page 53, and for now I'm going to say Blesk has that. Okay. Now, lycanthropy. Let's learn about our new... Our new, uh... <laughs> uh our new state. Any character wounded by a werewolf must save halflings and... Oh! Halflings and elves are naturally resistant lycanthropy and add half their level to this save. I wish I remembered what I rolled. Uh, she's level 6. I think she made it. I think she rolled a 2. Um, plus half her level is 3. So that's 5 and that makes the save. Excellent. What, what would have happened? The amount of life point lost to the werewolf's tag is not important. Uh... Defense roll... An infected character will immediately develop an aversion to silver and drop any silver weapons. Uh, the character will also refuse to carry the party's lantern. Oh, wow. Due to his bestial fear of fire. This would have really messed up Blesk's roll. Uh, if at any moment the character's madness points is higher than his level, the character turns into a werewolf. Level 6 boss with, six, with 5 life points and 2 attacks and attacks the party. Uh, fight to the death, attacking the first target with the lowest life points total in the party, including hirelings. Okay, and 
unfortunately, and then so on. So, but thankfully, we did not turn into a werewolf. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, that is room 14. We're going to say she made the save because she's an elf. If it had been anybody else who rolled that too, we'd be in trouble. Uh, okay, we're heading north. Um, let's see what's up here. Uh, 45. There's not a lot of space. To be, this is either it or the next room. Okay, this is a crossroads. So uh, I'm going to just make this work here. It connects over there. It ends in kind of a thing. I'm going to have this come over like this. And just kind of, there's a dead end there. And this is quarter 15. And whatever, we, whatever room we roll over here is going to be our final boss. So we're almost there. What is in corridor 15? Eight. Empty. We can search it. Uh, yep, let's do it. That's what we're here for. So we're going to search. Um, we search at minus one in corridors. So three minus one is two. Uh, it's going to be empty. So, okay, corridor 15, empty. Empty, confirmed. All right, we are heading into room 16. Before we go into room 16 and figure out what it is, let's just take a moment to do a little bit of uh, inventory here. We're not terrible. If this was not the abyss, I wouldn't be worried um, with our health. But we do have some, some trouble here. Uh, Elric could use his bandage. Did he not use... He didn't need to use his bandage, I guess. So... Um, let's go ahead and use Elric's bandage. Why not? No reason to save it at this point. Um, and that will give him one more point of health. Blesk has uh, no spells, but and she's used her bandage. Oh, let me hide this. Uh, there we go. Blesk, let's see... Blusk still has a healing potion. Uh, but she's only down three. So Blusk has a healing potion. Elric does not. Blusk also has some spells. She's got a sleep wand. She's got two scrolls of sleep. She's got scroll of blessing. Scroll of protect. Should she use her blessing spell on somebody? Uh, I keep forgetting Jim has a minus one on his attack from being from that room of horrors so let's go ahead and say that we did that at some point she used the scroll of blessing on jim so that explains why we weren't doing any minus ones for his attack <laughs> uh and then we've got a scroll of protect and jim jim still has his healing potion so i'm gonna mark that down over here Jim has a healing potion. Blesk has a healing potion. Other than that, we have no heals. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's see what is in uh, down this hallway. Hallway 15. We're going west. Uh, 41 is indeed a room and looks like this guy we got a door here and uh, this little hall and we're just gonna make it work And this is room 16. And this is the final boss. This is our tentacled brain. Oh, 
We defeated that boss. We get to do two XP rolls, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so before we go in there, we're going to use those on the two folks who are not level six yet. Jim and Elric. Elric's my house rule is he gets a plus one on this roll because he failed the last one. Three, four, that doesn't work. Uh, Jim. Jim makes it. So Jim levels up. Excellent. Apparently Elric is our new Throck. <laughs> Uh, in terms of XP rolls, but that's okay. Elric will get plus two next time. I'm gonna write that down. Plus two, and Jim succeeded. Jim goes to level six. I'm holding the pen in my hand, and he now has twelve life. And plus seven attack. That's outstanding. What am I forgetting? Forgetting to do something. Oh, let's add a bubble down here. Jim goes to 12. He's got a healing potion. Okay. All righty. Here we go. Oh, and Blesk has this eight-sided die. She's stored up that she's been saving this whole time from the fortune teller. Sweet. All right. What else? Elric never used his reroll defense on his shield, but he's currently got that magic, that other magic, oh, that, which gives him another plus defense. I need to write that down. Elric is now, Elric is using the magic shield plus two, which... Combined with his heavy armor, one, two, why do I have already four defense here? Shield of one, one, two, three. Okay, well, um, he's already got plus four defense. I might be missing some reason he should have another plus, but... Yeah, okay, well, what are we doing? 16. This is going to be the final boss. Final boss. And we'll get two XP rolls for it if we defeat it. It is final. Tentacled brain. Also, if we defeat it, we get Throck's hammer back. <laughs> Uh, final boss rules. Final boss rules. Um, we do some stuff to this thing. I'm looking at my notes. Final bosses. We are going to add one life and one attack to it. And then we alter its treasure as well. But here's our tentacle brain. Level 9. Um, level 9. Eight life. We're adding one life because it's the final boss, and it's gonna fight to the death. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we can knock it down a peg if we do enough damage. When we do enough damage, hopefully. <laughs> Level nine. Um, and then what else? It gets plus one attack. Brain, the brain, okay, let's read this. The tentacled brain is hard to hit because it floats in the air. It is only level six if attacked with ranged weapons. So level seven ranged because it's a final boss. The br oh, here we go. The brain does not attack, but each turn until the brain is killed or flees, before they have a chance to attack, all characters must save versus five or take one wound and one madness. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, ouch. All right, so Throck. Okay. The question now is, do we use melee 
or or do we use uh, ranged? And I think level nine doesn't worry me too much. We already beat several level nine type creatures. We've beaten a level 11 boss. So I think I'm gonna, Throck is gonna stick with his hammer. He's got it equipped. Um, Two-handed silver hammer, because his masterwork is in this thing's treasure hoard somewhere. So, he also has his rage available, which he's been saving up. So, let me look that up. Barbarian, rage, roll three dice to hit and take the best one. If, uh, if we hit a boss, we do two wounds. So, here's our three... Eight. There's an eight. It was our best one. That explodes. That's a ten plus sixteen. Uh, so we hit, and we do two points of damage with our rage. I should really make a bubble over here and say that we used it, because I think that's once per game. Yeah, let's do that. That'll help me remember in the future. Okay, that's Throck's turn. He's hit the tentacle brain. He's mad because the uh, thing has his hammer. Okay, um, Elric has his hammer ready. Um, let's see. Three uh, plus two. Is he, he, so he misses. Is it worth switching to his sling in the future? Uh, would that have hit? Three. Plus two is five, minus one is four. He still wouldn't have hit. Um, he gets a minus one for his sling. Mm, it's it's uh, it's barely. I don't think it's worth wasting the turn switching. Okay, Blesk. Should she use a spell, or should she attack? She currently has her sling equipped and her dagger. Uh. Do spells count as ranged attacks? Is a good question. Oh, yep, it says only level six if attacked with ranged weapons or spells. Okay, so let's do a sleep, a sleep scroll. Scroll of sleep. Or this wand. Want to sleep and then I'll free up an inventory slot. Um, let's look at the sleep spell rules, spells. Ba, ba, ba. Normal spell attack if it hits, it defeats one boss. Wow, can she really take this boss? Is this thing not immune to sleep? Tentacle brain is hard to hit. Okay, it's, I don't think it's immune to sleep. So here we go. Yep, here we go. Blesk. Wand of sleep. Two. <laughs> Plus her level six is eight. But it's ranged. Oh my gosh, it hits. Did she just hit? She took this thing out. I'm just double checking everything because otherwise she just won the game. <laughs> <laughs> and all we needed was a two. Uh, tentacle brain, hard to hit. It's level six if attacked with ranged or spells. We added one because it's a final boss. It's level seven. She rolled a two, plus her level is six is eight. Eight beats seven. The final boss is done. It slumps to the ground asleep. <laughs> Excellent. Defeated. Okay. Um, everybody survived. <laughs> we take ver uh, the Verasin lion skin. We've got Throx masterwork hammer back. We get to do two XP rolls. We'll do Elric again. He's got a plus a seven. There we go. So Elric levels up. That brings him to six. So he now has 10 life. And um, he 
adds his attack is plus half his level. So that's plus three. Um, plus three, and then versus undead. Plus three is his level, so that's plus six. Okay, and his tire do his life? <laughs> I think so. Uh, Elric, yep. So he goes to ten. And I think that's it for him. Who else should we should we level up somebody else? I don't see why not. Um, who should we level up? Let's roll a six-sided die, and we'll just go down the line. One to two, three to four, five to six. One to two, three to four. So let's try Blesk. Uh, here we go. She needs to roll a seven or better. She does not get it. Okay. Um, one thing to note, if we want the expert skills, it's harder and harder to make these XP rolls as we level up. But, uh, what are you going to do? Okay, so that's our two. Um, this is Blesk. She'll get a plus one next time. Um, we have that Lava River we could go back and try, but let's do Treasure here. We did our Werewolf. Okay. Um, where are we? Tentacle Brain. Treasure plus one. Treasure plus one. That's a four. One gem worth 3d6 times 20 gold pieces. There is some minimum treasure for final bosses. I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, triple gold or 100, whichever is best. And two magic items if there's normally one. Triple gold or 100. We're not getting gold here. We're getting a gem. So I think we get a gem, 100 gold, and, and that's it. So 100 gold. and 3d6 times 20 10 13 times 20 is 260 right 13 times 20 equals 260 gold piece gem i believe oh it says jewel uh yeah one gem okay that's our treasure for the tentacle brain Let's go back to the... Okay, we have to get out of here. <laughs> so we might have some wandering monsters in the way. But let's go in here. Any wandering monsters in in room 13? No. Dare we do the lava? I think so. Let's go back to the lava room. Lava River. That was a special event, right? Some kind of... Weird monsters, dragons, unique events. It wasn't a unique event. Useful stuff. Where's our lava river? Minions, magic treasure, special feature, lava river. If a character wants to leap over the river, roll a versus a level six difficulty. Elves get plus one. Seven, that explodes, so she makes it over. Um, uh, and while we're doing it, let's see if she, and she makes it back as well. Excellent. She makes it over and back, and what did she get? Uh, on success, the character leaps the object. Random item from the Abyss Magic Treasure Table. Okay. Roll a d6, and we get a four. A Baton of Righteousness. <laughs> the wielder of this metal rod. Heals one wound each time the baton inflicts the killing blow to any boss or weird monster. That's, uh, that's, yeah, you have to be the one to inflict the boss, and it heals, it heals one. It, that's, I think we're probably going to sell that. Because <laughs> I just feel like that's not going to, um, that's not going to trigger very often. And it's only worth one wound. So, baton... Of righteousness. That's on page 
51 and it's worth 250 gold okay okay we're here <clears throat> we need to go 12 11 10 and 1 right, 12 any wandering monster no 11 no wandering monster 10 no wandering monster one no wandering monster and we're out wow okay we did it we defeated the moldering barrow we got our verison verasin uh lion skin we got throx hammer back i think i'm more happy about that <clears throat> and now we are returning to the divigna marcia so uh i think that was great that was much more challenging than uh than the core rules even with fiendish fiendish foes there's quite a bit more going on here so uh i'm gonna tally up everything and figure out what happened and see what all mistakes i made and see what i screwed up over here in the character sheets and and we will play again soon <laughs> until then friends keep your lanterns lit and your hearts warm thanks for watching